What's this guy's name? Rupert Sanders. Yeah, okay. Ready? Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We just saw The Crow. Kaka! Oh! Directed by Rupert Sanders, written by Zach Balin, William Joseph Schneider, and based on the comic book series by James Abar, mm -hmm. starring Bill Skorsgård, uh, FKA Twigs, Danny Houston, and Josette Simon, or Simone. I'm assuming it's Simon because there's no E at the end. This, of course, is the second adaptation of the comic book series, the first one being infamous for being the film that Bran Brendan or Brandon? Brandon. Brandon Lee died filming. Uh, and it is also the resurgence. Uh, Hot Topic's gonna be saved by this oh one. Oh my god, so much leather. Saved. <laughs> yes, uh, so, the first thought I have about this movie, who keeps telling these fucking pop stars that they can act? I'm gonna anger some people with this one. Beyonce! Oh. I'm gonna anger even more with this one, because she was nominated for an Oscar. Lady Gaga! No. Goo goo. And now FKA Twigs. Uh, I apologize, I don't have any male-centric <laughs> pop star. I, I legitimately just can't think of any. What about but, the babe? Justin Timberlake. Uh, yeah, he's, but, he's not very good either. Uh, so, yeah, stop telling pop stars that they can act. Mm -hmm. Stop. They can't. It's annoying. Now I'm trying to think of other ones. <laughs> Uh, down yeah. a rabbit hole. Unless it's a comedy. If it's a comedy, it's fine because yeah. it's not meant to be taken seriously. But if it's something as dark as this, listen, I'll allow Taylor Swift in that I one. Won't. In oh that yeah, one movie where she gets ran over she by she a car. Over and and honestly, car. I respect her for that because <laughs> she probably had a lot of Swifties going to see that, and then she dies within five Demolished. minutes. Demolished. It's fucking hilarious. But yes, uh, this movie. Now I want to be clear. If FKA Twigs was play was her her character was played by someone competent. It would not have saved this movie, mm -hmm. but she heard it a lot. She did hear it a lot. <laughs> she heard it a lot. No uh, offense to the lady. Yeah, no offense to her. But I'm sure she's talented in her actual, you know, field of singing. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I was not a fan of her in this. And uh, when her character died, the movie immediately got yeah. better. <laughs> not much better, but it got better. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So where do we start, Glenn? What is your relation with the, the uh, original movie? When I was born, the next year, The Crow came out. Mm. I don't think I had seen The Crow really since, honestly, I wasn't much older from when it came out. Um, so I haven't I haven't watched it in a long fucking time, and I should not have watched it probably back then either. So that would make me like six or seven. Um, but yeah, I haven't watched it in a long time, super long time, like enough to where I don't remember really shit about it, except for... Except for, and here, here, the kids will love this word, except for the crow, Brendan Lee having, or Brandon Lee having absolute aura, as they say. He had, he, he had energy. He had, mm -hmm. he, he looked fucking menacing. Um, he looked like the wrestler Sting. Well, Sting looks like the crow, because oh, that's where he got the inspiration for it. My mistake, yes. Uh, I think Kevin Nash told him to, he's like, you know, remember the, you know the movie The Crow? Do that. Yeah, for the longest time, I thought it was actually Sting in the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but well before I saw it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So I was I was a wee little lad. Um, but I'm pretty sure, uh, it, you, comparing uh, apples and oranges to the same, you know, species of of the movie, and uh, you know, I feel like vastly different movies happened, but in like a way of like how good they were, because <laughs> this movie was. Terrible. Mm -hmm. um, like you had said, um, with FKA, it was it was like a combination of things. A, she she couldn't act. Um, it was pretty bad. She was trying to act. She was trying. I will give her a for effort. I, she was trying real hard. Yes, she didn't just phone it in. She was just not good. Yeah. Um, but like I don't know. There's a lot of things with her. I guess her, maybe her look. How fast their characters fell in love. Um, just her, her accent. <laughs> no offense to that either, but you could not take it seriously for the life of you. Yeah. Um, and know. also in the beginning, it felt like she was trying to do an American accent. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense because I know they don't film in order. But like in the fir first five minutes, like is she well, doing an American accent? It was, it was like a maybe she was trying to, but they 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 made it so her mom was also. Reddish, yeah. so 
I don't know what was going on there. Maybe it was just the accent, who knows. But uh, it was pretty It was pretty hard to watch that at least first half an hour because she was in it, the story was not there, the dialogue was definitely not there. Um, and it was, it, was, it was rough. And I don't want to pin all of it on her. The no, whole no, movie no. itself was just not good. I would say the only two shining moments or shining elements of it are Bill Skarsgård and uh, Danny Houston. And even even then, with with Bill, I, I, the script and the dialogue hurts. Yeah, it he so he couldn't much. save the script, but like he tried, he tried. Damn it! <laughs> um, and with Danny Houston, I feel like he's he's put into that typical like villainous role to where like you could gather all of those roles and combine them and they're all the exact same just yeah you know something's different going on with them. yeah it was, a mu- it was a lot like his character in 30 days of night so, so like he's good at it yeah but it's also like okay it, it also felt like that character as well mm-hmm. but i uh, i expected a little bit better of a time with this movie um i wasn't expecting much i'll put that foot down yeah um but there was some visuals that were pretty cool and then I liked some of the soundtrack. And Bill Skarsgård, his physique was fucking uh, swimming. And also he swam a little bit in this movie. So that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. He got fit. Other than that, honestly, I was so ready to be done this movie after the first half hour. And yeah. it kept continuing. Even though it got a little bit better, it kept continuing to be like, I could just honestly leave right now and I'd be... I can mm. continue my life, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, I feel like... The this series as as a whole, it doesn't make sense for it to be rated R. Not because of the 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 subject matter, but because like it is the perfect movie for an angsty teenager. Uh, and the majority of angsty teenagers cannot go see this because mm-hmm. it's rated R. Um, because I saw the first The Crow. Mm-hmm. Way later than people said. I, you know, I, I, I grew up a metalhead, and like, well, it also you know, became like, a cult classic too. Yeah, well, mainly because of the the behind the scenes mm-hmm. of it. Uh, but like, you know, being a hot topic kid, uh, I everyone always told me to watch that movie, and you know, I just kept putting it off because it looked a little cheesy to me. Mm-hmm. And then I watched it, and it was a little cheesy to me. <laughs> so I've never been a fan of the franchise. I was not interested in this. When uh, you know, w- w- for those of you who have noticed, we've been seeing less movies this year, and it's because I'm trying to not put too much on Glenn's plate. And when I found out that this was one of the movies that he was willing to see, I was like, oh, I was like, mm, it probably couldn't be bad. This is the, this is the one I thought you would skip for sure. <laughs> Boy, howdy, was I wrong? Uh, but yeah, it's it's. It's got some good visuals, as you said. Uh, the ending, twenty well, uh, fifteen minutes of the ending, twenty minutes are decent, uh, and then you know FK Twigs comes back and it just goes downhill again. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just not for me. Uh, I think a lot of people who are into that angsty kind of stuff are gonna like it. Uh, I like realistic angsty things. Like, I like depressing movies. Would you not agree? He, he, I would agree. Uh, but I don't like like the edgelord stuff. So Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, FK Twigs, you know, I don't want to keep shitting on her. She is not the reason this movie's bad. Uh, it's just a bad movie in it's general. It's just a bad movie. Uh, and, and not even Bill Skarsgård's performance or Danny Houston's performance could save it. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, it just wasn't good. Yeah. Um, I'll go also. I don't really know if this is a spoiler. Uh, but, you know, th- he can't really die. He's mm-hmm. kind of like the, I guess, ghost, if you want to call it. Of like a f- like actual physical ghost, if mm-hmm. you want to call it that. He can't really die. So at a certain point, you kind of... You kind of like okay, yeah. so he's not going to lose this because yeah. <laughs> he's not dying. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on? Um, uh, this part kind of is a spoiler, so I'm sorry ahead of time. Um, at a certain point, like it wavers, like he can physically go back to you know the other world because he's like losing his his faith and his love. And if they kept that going for like the next you know half hour or mm-hmm. so, it would have like raised the stakes a little bit because so, you're like, oh, yeah. he could actually. He could actually just just perish, mm-hmm. shall I say? Um, but he didn't. So like a good halfway through the movie, he's like, "Oh, 
no, I believe my love now. Superman. <laughs> yeah. That's just basically what it turns yeah, out. Yeah, it's I mean it's my the same problem with uh Marvel movies in my opinion, where it's like Marvel movies is different because they have plot protection. Mm-hmm. Whereas this is like it's just the bait like yes, obviously we know from Endgame the superhero movies or superheroes can die, but you know they're probably not going to. Yeah. For the vast majority of the movies that they're in. Mm-hmm. Uh and then when they do, it's like five movies too late. You know, just to say. And so it's the same thing where it just takes out all suspension out of this. Mm-hmm. And there isn't, like, a human character you like enough to to worry about them. Uh, it's just more of the same with all blockbusters. It's too safe. Uh, this is safe but edgy. Uh, and I just, I, you know, I really should buy Hot Topic stock right now. Because yeah. it's, it's yeah. going like, to, I mean, they're going to sell some shirts. I mean, like you were saying, like it probably would have been safer for this movie to actually go PG thirteen. It got gruesome at many. It points. did, and I I enjoyed the, that aspect of it. Yeah, but just knowing the target demographic. Yeah, it could have, especially since at a certain point, like his blood is just black. Mm-hmm. So it's like they could have gotten away with that in PG thirteen mm-hmm. instead of showing actual blood or mm-hmm. anything like that. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't 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 know. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, so I That's guess we can get into me. ratings. That's about me, too. Uh, man, do I want to continue dragging FKA Twigs? Because <laughs> this was a certain thing. If it weren't for her, my rating would be different. Uh, but I don't want to maybe necessarily out her for how much she cost this movie. I'm going to give it one star. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. No. It was not, a, it was not I, for me. I don't know how many movies I've given a half star. I want to give this a one as well. I want to preface that. But I was really thinking for a while there yeah. to give it a half. But The final scene between Bill Skarsgård and Danny Houston bumped it up a star. Or a half a star. Because I, I was thinking half a star as well. But mm-hmm. one star. I would say one for sure. Yeah. Because it was like, at least it had, it had some, maybe even one and a half. But that's really fucking pushing it. For the visuals and, you know, Bill Skarsgård getting, like, physically really buff. But, I mean, no, it didn't. Yeah. One, one's good. Yeah. Stop putting pop stars in movies. Stop it. All right. Well, that's what we thought of The Crow. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. If you saw The Crow, tell us what you thought down below. And if you saw the original one, tell us what you thought down below. And which of your pop's least favorite... Who's your least favorite pop star that became an actor? I know mine, but I will not say it. And I, I, ca- I can't think of any. Yeah. You ever get put on the spot and you're like, oh, I can, I can think of that answer, and then you're on it and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.